Hey y'all, welcome to Racing Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make these marble um, candle holders that I put on my blog yesterday. So let's go ahead and get started. What I'm using is I just went to the Dollar Tr Store and got all kinds of different sized glass candle holders. I have my um, Tim Holtz ink dauber. I have the felt pads on them and I'm going to be using um, the silver mixatives. I'm using sailboat blue and citrus and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull my caps off of these. And I'm just going to put some silver down. And then I'm going to put my blue. And then I'm going to put some of the green. And I don't, I'm not being careful about how they mix in or anything. Because I want them to blend together. And then what I do is I usually just put my hand inside the candle holder and that gives me something a nice way to turn it and hold it steady without having to touch the outside so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bottom and we're just going to dab the bottom and I'm just gonna twist as I dab because this I use the bottom to really kind of combine the color together and it also helps me see if I'm gonna like the color combination I'm using or not and then I come um, around the outside edge and you want to be very careful and make sure that you're daubing and not um, rubbing because you just get that smeared look there instead of the more marble look and once you get going you will be able to tell rather quickly where you have um, accidentally rubbed or slid your dauber across. And as you go around, sometimes I turn my dauber too to kind of change the pattern of how the ink's going on. And um, when you use, you can use any color combination you want. You don't have to use three. It just so happens that this is going to be a Christmas gift and the person who it's for likes the lime green and the light blue so I am making her some that she can use all year and not just at Christmas she's got one set that'll be Christmas but I wanted her to be able to enjoy them all year and not just have them be Christmas And I made these for all of my family, all of the girls in my family, all of my cousins and my aunts. And so I did all of those in Christmas colors because it's easier than trying to remember everybody's favorite color. Or colors or their, you know, what their room colors are. And So Christmas is a safe way to go when making them for a whole bunch of people that this is going to be for one of my best friends so I know what her favorite colors are so it's rather easy to do that um, but when you use like two colors you'll have to re-ink it about halfway through to get the coverage you need all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just set this guy aside and I'm going to set my anchors aside and I'm going to show you how to seal these because you absolutely want to seal them. If you don't, they will peel and chip off and that just is not cool. Okay, what I use is Mod Podge. I have the matte finish 
you don't have to use that. I actually went today and looked for the glossy finish and I couldn't find it. So I'm just going to use what I have. And I'm using a three quarter inch paintbrush. You can take the gloves off now. You're done with the ink. And make sure you let this dry. Like I said, I did this, the one I am going to um, put the coating on, this one here. I did this earlier today. And I just left a thumbprint because I touched it with wet hand. But that's okay, it kind of faded away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my hand back inside like I did when I inked it. And then I'm just going to put a pretty generous layer. Um, this will be my first layer on this one. So I want to make sure that I have a very wet paintbrush. Because if you let your paintbrush get too dry and you don't have enough Mod Podge on it, it will start to peel your alcohol ink off. And don't be worried. Um, sometimes I notice a lot with the red um, when I'm clear coating the red alcohol ink it tends to turn the Mod Podge on my brush a pinkish color but I haven't noticed any bare spots so I don't worry too much about it so if your Mod Podge gets turned pink on your brush it's not a big deal it doesn't mean that you messed up or anything Oops. usually I'm much better at turning it there in there. Are you supposed to be? And you're just going to go all the way around and you're going to put just a nice well, covering on there. And well, I have a piece of dog hair right there. So I'm going to pull that out and then just kind of run back over where I touched it. And that's all there is to it. You want it to be rather smooth. Um, once in a while you can pick up in your finish the paintbrush strokes but I'm not too worried about that I don't I wouldn't know maybe if you were much slower and much more precise it wouldn't be so you it's not really noticeable but you can tell they're there when they dry you, especially if you're looking up close at them you can just see the little brush strokes but don't worry about the white coloring it will dry clear so here, and I don't generally touch it like that, but I wanted to set it down here. So that is my, um, my project for today, the marbled candle holders. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see y'all next time. Have a very Merry Christmas if I don't see y'all before then. And a, good, and a happy new year. Thanks for stopping by.